What? I'm back. <laughs> hey, you guys, what's up? I'm back. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. Life happens. That's all I'm going to say about that. All that matters is that I'm here now back reunited with you. Thank you for coming back. If you didn't miss me, I don't blame you. I wouldn't miss me either. My grand return, I decided I would do my all time most requested video. I've been ignoring this request for a while for various reasons, but I'm going to do my skincare routine. Everybody has wanted to know what my skincare routine is. I've never really considered myself somebody that had nice skin. I struggled with it through middle school like most people do. I actually started getting acne at like a young age, I think like nine. There are many reasons that I've been putting off doing this video. One was because I was just excited about some other ideas that I had and I wanted to do them and skincare routine seemed kind of boring to me. Uh, two is because I'm not a big skincare person. I don't know that much about it. I'm not that knowledgeable on the subject, but somehow I have found products and a process that work really well for me and I'm happy with and I'm happy with my skin. Um, but I couldn't tell you why. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist. I can't dive into all the different ingredients and the chemicals and the this and the that and the whys. I can only give my experience, my skin type. Um, I don't know what's right for other people. So if anybody has products that have really changed the game for them, please in the comments below, Describe your skin type, maybe your skin story a little bit and tell everybody what you use and why it works. So that way everybody can benefit from not only my video, but what you guys use. But I'm going to show you my skincare routine, explain to you how I take my makeup off and also what I do in the morning before I put makeup on. And then I'm also gonna mention some other products that I don't use every day, but um, they're still great and I use them every once in a while and I still would like to tell you about them. But first, before we dive in, I feel like I should explain my skin type to you a little bit. Um, I do consider myself combo skin type. So um, I get oily in the center of my face and um, I wouldn't even say dry on the outer areas of my face. They're just not super oily. As far as issues I face, normally it's just a simple breakout pimples maybe a little redness, but usually that's just from me touching my face or irritating it. Recently, I did go on a vacation and my skin was a mess when I got back. This was, I guess, um, a month ago. I felt disgusting. I had pimples everywhere. You might still see dark spots from those healing. I do have a massive pimple in this very strange spot right here. You can probably see it. I can't see it in the monitor, but you can probably see it. But I hope you learned something from this. I hope that something in here speaks to you. So without further ado, here is my skincare routine. I just washed my face at my sink in my bathroom. Um, sorry for not showing you that. I don't think um, you're missing out on anything. So what I use to cleanse my face is this Trader Joe's Nourish um, all-in-one facial cleanser. My sister recommended this to me a while back and I love it. It gets my face really clean. I actually tried a different facial cleanser, um, I wanna say a couple months ago, and my skin started breaking out. It's simple, it gets the job done, and it's inexpensive. I think a bottle is $5. It lasts a while and it's a pretty big, pretty big bottle. I also use it to wash my beauty sponges. It's great for that as well. Um, yeah, it's really trusty. Uh, every time I've tried something else, I just go back to this one and it's pick it up with my groceries. No big deal. So all I do is I wash my hands first and then I will put this on my hands, scrub it all over my face and then rinse it off with warm water. So after I wash my face and pat my skin dry with a towel, I will go in with my Thayer's Witch Hazel, which is my... <sighs> Listen, this changed the game for me. This changed my skin. I didn't realize something was missing from my life until I tried this. Again, skincare um, extraordinaire in my life is my sister. She recommended this to me. She said, Witch Hazel will do everything for you. Thayer's Witch Hazel with the rose in it. Um, there's no alcohol in this. That's what you want. As a toner, this is amazing. When I started using this, I saw immediate change in my skin. I think everybody needs a toner in their life. No matter who you are, it changes everything because if you think about it this sits on your skin and actually soaks in a cleanser doesn't sit on your skin overnight and have really any effect all it does is get whatever's on your face off whether it's makeup or just dirt and grime toners sit on your skin 
and they will affect your skin. So what I will do, I just put it on a cotton pad. These are um, the like basic cotton pads from Target. And I will circular motions all over my face. And that acts as like a daily exfoliator. Even now, I just washed my face and I don't know, this is kind of gross, but I don't know if you guys can see, maybe not. The lights might be too bright, but there is a little bit of griminess on here, just a slight bit. So it's always good to go back in with something else just to get the rest of what's going on, especially when you wear makeup. Oh my God, my skin is so dry and I just wanna to get to moisturizer so that it doesn't feel like this anymore. So like I said before, I've been trying to film this video for a few weeks, but something keeps happening that's been keeping me from doing it. One of those things was I ordered a new skincare product and I wanted to give it a go before filming this. And I have given it a go. I've been using it for mm, a couple weeks, maybe over a week. Um, not using it long enough to see long-term results, but I've been using it enough to know that I like it and it is staying in my skincare routine probably for good. I recently have gotten really obsessed with anti-aging. I looked into skincare products that I could start integrating into my um, routine now so that later down the line, I don't have to do something about. I mean, I don't have an issue with aging. Aging is natural. Everybody's going to age, but I don't think there's any problem with like trying to keep the wrinkles at bay for a little bit. So I did a little Googling, looking some stuff up, and this came up as a great anti-aging product. It is from The Ordinary. I'm going to try to say this. It is a Grenactive Retinoid 2% Emulsion. This was $15, I think. And I could only get it from beautylish.com. Whenever I introduce a new thing to my skincare routine, I do get a little nervous because if it throws something off, then you could have a breakout for weeks and you have to repair it. And I had already been dealing with my breakout after traveling. And so I was like a little, I don't know, a little nervous. Plus reviews on retinoids seem to say that like sometimes they can irritate the skin if you use them too much. Um, they can make you more sensitive to sunlight, I believe. Um, but the reviews for the ordinary one, this one, the reviews for this one said that it didn't do that. People were really happy with it and they noticed results almost immediately. So got this puppy in the mail, used it that night. And although I can't say if it's, keeping me young. I noticed a different in my skin the next day. My skin was not dried out. My skin was still balanced well, but I noticed bumps were smoother, breakouts were shrinking. I don't know how else to explain it. Just the overall appearance of my skin looked really nice. I also ordered this because I have dark spots from scarring, dark spots on my arms from sun damage. And I was like, I'm only 23. I shouldn't have these problems. Um, I would like to get rid of them. So I also ordered this. I put this on my chest and on my upper arms here. I don't know if you can, oh, you can definitely see that. Ew, I can see it in the viewfinder. I'm very self-conscious about these. I have them on both sides. Um, I, I don't like it. Um, so I do put this on my upper arms. Um, I, it takes a long time to fade dark spots, like a really long time. So I don't really have anything to say about that yet. I'm not gonna put it on right now because you're not supposed to use this every day. And I used it yesterday, so I don't wanna over, go overboard. They recommend if you are a new retinoid user once to twice a week, and then you can work your way up from there if you're not too sensitive from it. It is recommended that you use this after all water-based products and before any moisturizer or oil-based products. So post toner, which is a water-based product, I put this on and then I follow with my moisturizer. This product is one of the ones I'm really proud to talk about. I don't know why. I recommend it to everybody I meet because I think it's wonderful. I've been using it for years. So my mom uses it, my sister uses it. It is the On Hand Lotions. You can't really see the label that well. It is the On Hand Lotions Thirsty Face Moisturizing Serum. So it is a serum, it's oil-based, which is what I prefer. I actually cannot stand lotion type moisturizers. They don't work for me. If they work for you, then that's great. But every time I've used them, my skin either feels dry like five minutes later or they're dry by the morning. And I'm not into that. I want moisturizer that sinks into my skin. This one is fabulous. It has all sorts of great things in it. Let me tell you right now. Sweet almond oil, calendula, chamomile flowers, jojoba oil, geranium oil, rose oil, it's a bunch, it is just a bunch of oils mixed together and it's all organic and it is handcrafted and it's made in pretty much my hometown. Bristol, New York um, is a little bit outside of my hometown, but it is from a small business owner in upstate New York. And I'm so proud to support them. It's worth the price. It's, I 
recall it being $25 a bottle, but it lasts me like six months at least. I think I only need to buy two bottles a year. They make, oh, let me show you. This has kind of, my only complaint about this product, but now I'm used to it because I've been using it for so long, is it has like this dropper, can you see? This like dropper style, um, Oh, there, it kind of worked pretty well there, actually. Well, of course, on camera it worked. I have to kind of like tap it on my fingers a few times, but I just work it into my skin. I don't know. I see a lot of beauty people. Um, they're very conscious of the way they put products on their skin. A lot of them will like just tap it in like this. I don't do that. I just rub it all over. If my shirt wasn't here, I would pull it down to my chest as well. And that just sinks in all night and it's wonderful. I love it. If you have oily skin and using an oil-based moisturizer freaks you out, then maybe this isn't for you, but I will say no matter what skin type you have, whether you have dry skin, combo skin, oily skin, all of the above, whatever, moisturizer is important because it helps balance the oil production in your skin. So as far as my nighttime skin routine, that's pretty much it. Wash my face, toner, maybe do the ordinary retinoid, and then my moisturizer, um, take my contacts out, brush my teeth, and I go to bed. It's pretty simple. I like to keep it simple. Oh, um, something I definitely do before I go to sleep is put lip balm on because, duh, everyone should, but I especially take great care of my lips. So this is my preferred lip balm right now. I really like these. They're from Glossier. Let me get these in, in check. It's too bright. They're overexposed, but the Glossier Balm.coms are really nice, super comfortable. The mint one is my favorite, so I'm going to use it right now. You can buy a three pack of them, I think for like 30 bucks. Um, Glossier is a little pricey. You know, this is a little more expensive than like a thing of um, chapstick from the store, but um, I really like them. And my lips really need this right now. Mm. Oh, I love mint menthol flavored things. Let's actually talk about how I remove my makeup at night for my skincare routine, because that's also really important. Um, Lately, I used to use coconut oil religiously for this. We were traveling and I left my little travel size coconut oil in one of the hotels we stayed in, but I needed something to take my makeup off and my sister was like, you can use my jojoba oil. I really liked it. I have been ever since that trip using jojoba oil to remove my makeup. Um, this is Hollywood Beauty. I got this at Target for like three bucks, this little bottle. So I put this on my fingers and I will just kind of rub my eyes first to get my mascara kind of loosened up and broken down. And then I will go in <laughs> with <laughs> something I stole from my sister because she left it here when she came to visit me and I didn't give it back. Um, Is this like makeup erasing, what's it called? Erase your face towel. Um, It's dirty because I did not prepare for this video. I did not wash it. This removes makeup so well. And I never would have thought that I would say that. I would think something like this would be super gimmicky, but it's not. Um, I will just take this, wipe off everything. Everything comes off super easily. Um, and that's just how I take my makeup off. There's nothing else I follow with the cleanser. So before I move on to some like honorable mention products that I do use just not every day, um, I am going to explain what I do in the morning before I put my makeup on because it is different than my nighttime routine. So what I do is when I wake up, I will go in with more witch hazel. I will just kind of like pat down all that excess oiliness off of my skin. And then I will go in, this is very important, with sunscreen that is what i kind of use as moisturizer in the morning because it makes my skin spf is known for being a little greasy and it does get my skin nice and moisturized before i put makeup on recently i've become very passionate about spf use um i think it's really important i've gotten very strange about you know anti-aging and stuff like that even though i'm only 23 but you know you say one wrinkle and you freak out so spf has become a big part of my anti-aging mission. This is Super Goop. It is their everyday sunscreen, SPF 50. Um, I really like this. It is important to use a separate SPF um, that's not a makeup product that has SPF in it. Like, so this is, a, this is an SPF sunscreen product. Put it on your face and then put your makeup on top of it. Don't think that using a moisturizer with SPF in it or like a foundation with SPF in it is going to be enough because it just won't. I'm not gonna put this on right now, but I do just squeeze out some on my hand, put it all over my face, and then I will follow that with a little bit of translucent powder. Um, as always, I've said it before, I use the RCMA translucent powder and I will just take some on my fan brush and dust that over my skin just to kind of control the greasiness of that SPF. 
And fortunately, most of them are that way. There's not much you can do about it. I would take the protection over a completely matte makeup look, not greasy by the end of the day situation um, any day. So really quick, just some special honorable mention products that I do use on occasion. They're just not part of my everyday routine. Um, starting with, I've posted about this on my Instagram before, is the Bosha, Basha? Um, let's, I'm just gonna say Bosha. This is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. This is a sample that I got um, a while ago and it's still not gone. You know when your skin just feels super like grimy and just maybe you're out at the beach all day and you, it's weathered and you just want to like reset your face and start over. I use this guy. I love chemical exfoliants. As far as masking, um, I don't mask that often, mostly because I just don't like spending my money on extra skincare. Um, but I do really enjoy the sheet mask trend. I know that maybe that's kind of over. People don't do them as much anymore, but I still think they're really great. It's really just like a treat yourself type thing. If you've been traveling and you need to kind of reset or you wake up one day and your skin just feels extra dry because your heating was on all night or something like that, sheet masks are fabulous. Throw them in the fridge and they'll be a little cold and soothing. It's I like them a lot. I love the Tony Moly ones. I think they're like three bucks each. So sometimes I'll just run to Ulta on my way home from work and like grab one and treat myself that night with a glass of wine because I'm a grown woman and I can drink wine. Anyways, this is the cactus purifying one. I've tried like the tomato ones and I think there's a coconut one. I've tried a few of them um, and I always enjoy them. My sister recommended these to me because I am a pimple popper. Guilty as charged. Um, yes, I know that it's not great, but I can't help it. I follow Dr. Pimple Popper on Instagram. I'm into it, it's whatever, don't think about it too hard. This pimple on my face that's been growing for the last couple of days, I'm likely going to pop it tonight or tomorrow. I will follow up that pop with one of these. These are these little patches that you put on your pimple. Can you see? It's overexposed again. Maybe back here. Can you see that? Uh, maybe not. They're little patches, they come in different sizes for your different um, pimple size needs. And you pop them onto your dry skin after you've popped a pimple and it helps. Um, it doesn't necessarily get rid of pimples, but if you've popped one and you put one of these on, um, it will help reduce the redness and the, the inflammation of it. It will be flat in the morning, you can take it off and you can cover it up easier with makeup. Yeah, for you pimple poppers out there, maybe try these out five bucks on Amazon, good stuff. If you have any questions about my products that I use or my skincare routine or anything like that, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm glad that I finally made this video. I don't know why it took me so long. I hope it was worth the wait and that you guys learned something. If you have to take away anything, please integrate SPF into your skincare. And if you don't use moisturizer, you should be using moisturizer. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I All my love to the people that have been reaching out to me asking me when I was gonna make videos again because it did kind of keep me motivated and keep my channel on my mind. Please let me know what you would like to see from me in the future. And hopefully I will see you sooner rather than later. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.